Okay, so we've just looked at how we've created the um, design concepts for Logo 1 or Design 1 using that name. We're going to literally apply exactly the same ways of doing things to the other two. So we're going to look at doing perspective, we're going to look at doing one point, two point perspective, three point if you want to use three point perspective, uh, we're still going to use 2D design and we're going to develop it using CAD. Okay, so this is what we looked at last time was our sketches. Once we've done the sketches onto the sheet, uh, we then did it, took it into 2D design. You can see there's a lot of annotation on there, I'm explaining a lot of what I've done. And from that point, I then developed it using um, other CAD software. Okay, now some of you wouldn't prefer to do it this way, you'll prefer to do it a different um, sort of way around and to show different skills, which is fine. You haven't really got to use the computers that much if you don't want to. So the next stage we're going to look at is how to present your design sheets pretty much without using a computer to the degree of what we've just shown you using on Design 1. Okay, so the sketches stay the same. Now again, what I've done with these is these are all done on different pages, but then sketch them in. I've come up with the, the name of Epsilon 1, and you can see from here that I've actually handwritten using, if you've got a handwrite, make sure your handwriting is readable, make sure you use capitals if it's not. My handwriting isn't particularly good, which is why I tend to use CAD quite a bit. But it gives me a chance to write things on and write down expressions at the time that I'm thinking of them. And I've exploded this slightly bigger than what it would be included, just so you can see it on the screen. You can see I've added some sort of rendering in there, and what I've used here is I've quickly just got hold of a, a grey marker pen, and we've done marker pen techniques, so you know how to use marker pens, and I've just applied a simple warm grey onto all the areas, and rotated some round, so I've got some going vertical. You can see I've still got the grids that's visible, and that's something that was picked up in the spec, so we've got to make sure we've got the grids. And you can see that I've actually developed it, so I've actually gone through Epsilon 1, Epsilon 9. As I've been doing my research, I actually found that Epsilon is actually a group of five. So I had to change my designs going through, which isn't a problem, because any designs that I've changed at this stage, as long as I say, well look, I've just spent two hours, or, or whichever, designing stuff that is wrong, but now I've changed it to this, and I haven't spent two hours doing this, that was just a, a term. And this sheet that you're looking at now is, is probably about 15 to 20 minutes worth of work. So in a, a three hour block of our lessons, this section really could be nailed if, if, you, if you're focusing on what we're doing. So I've got one sheet there, so the Epsilon 5, you can see I've gone into different things, etc. Now the next sheet I've done is pretty much the same. So I'll just click back onto there. So I've done exactly the same sort of thing that in the other views. I've used perspective, so this is a Star Wars thing again. I've applied a bit of rendering around the outside, just to emphasise it. I've started doing some rough sketches down here as well. Um, obviously with this I'm using looking at circuit boards and things like that. Just simple shapes, this blockbuster shape or DNA shape um, we've got in there. And also letters that work well and don't work so well. And you can see I've started to rate these 4 out of 5, 1 out of 2, 3 out of 5. And sometimes I'll draw things knowing that they'll look rubbish. But it just means that it emphasises what I can develop it into. So at this point with Epsilon 5, I've got to the point where these sketches are sort of looking okay, but I'm writing down in all the white spaces, I'm cramming all the white spaces full of annotations. So it looks like I've got that many ideas I can't fit onto a page. Okay then, moving swiftly on. So the next stage I did was I looked at exactly that. I then developed it a bit more, I've kept it 2D design. Um, type because I know I've got to do the 2D design, so I've done a 2D version as well as a 3D. I've used script, so it looks pretty much like I've written it in person. And even though I knew that wasn't going to work for the theme I was after, because I'm after a high tech games um, shop, and I knew that wouldn't work, at least I could put it in to say why it didn't work. Changing letters round is another common thing um, that we can do. It's still readable. And again, we can look at, you can see I've done this in different sort of versions as well, because I've gone over it in blue pen on some of it, and some of the writing's in black, some of it's in blue. And it's that idea of coming back to your drawings. And these are all rough sketches. At this point, that's what, exactly what they should be. Rougher the better, but as long as they put the message across, it's communicating your ideas. In the design industry, of course, you won't be paying somebody £60 an hour to come up with loads of sketches like this or come up with ideas that are perfect 
but you're not going to use and that's why we have these brainstorming rough sheets so we can then choose one and develop it further so moving on to there as well so this one I've done as a circle onto there as well and I've shown some certain individuals how to do this as well it's quite easy on 2D design not easily read but it does fit into a square quite easily but it just shows a different sort of style perspective that's quite a nice drawing I quite like that as a perspective drawing using the actual 5 and the E interlocking shapes lights and darks contrasting again it shows some good design skills you can see I've used a rule of thirds down here as well and I've just wrote some sort of ideas down there E5 etc they're all ideas these really are very simple ideas they're, they're not very dynamic at all but it fills the page and it looks pretty cool okay so what do I, happen, do I do then well this is the design sheet and this is all those four sheets that have been scanned in and put together and when they're put together they look very effective and so anything that's handwritten anything that's coloured in providing you use the right scanner, providing you use the right software you can get a very good design sheet by doing it that way and again this will bring you into the C's into the B's and once you add the other stuff where this is going to go on to you need design sketches for that that's where we're going to start getting into the A's and looking at those type of things okay I did mention 2D design and I'm going to use this idea a bit later on as well so it's worth paying a bit of attention now to why we're doing it this way um, just so we can see at this point then um, I've caught with loads of ideas onto there and I need to develop one the one I've chosen to develop I need to explain why I've chosen that and it's actually going to be this one here because it looks better fills a page and it's got some sort of perspective in there um, when I say perspective it gets smaller it, it, it looks interesting so I'm going to see what I can do to develop this one exactly the same as I did on 2D design all I'm going to do now is draw that out in 2D design and I'll just use the arc command and just rounded some of the edges and I've explained how I've done it here could have done a screenshot but I'm going to be using that a bit later on so I've left it out of here you can see I started to number them so I can sit, tell the examiner which way they'll actually develop it and what I've developed it from here is that this is a 50-50 split over on this side then I've then made it so it's nearly two thirds split and I've kept the E in the end the same sort of size onto that as well and then on this bit which I think works the best is actually where I've put it into a quarter so although the rule of thirds didn't look quite right this actually looks a bit better okay so the idea is epsilon and then five at the bottom okay I've then developed that further so I've come down onto here and what I did was I looked at loads of my Halo books people who know me know that I love Halo and I love anything about Halo and what I've done is, is created this type of font that looks very similar to, to theirs and it's this font that I'm actually going to use that's going to be effective again what they'll do exactly the same as we did with the other designs we did exactly the same process is I then draw the board around it so it looks well it looks good I then exported it into Pro Desktop and I then applied the same sort of images on now in my head I knew that I was, wasn't going to make this in 3D I knew it wouldn't work but that's just experience but I've tried it and then I've said why it didn't work and again I've got this massive box here with a summary explaining why I've done things the actual ones I'm going to go for are these two DD design ones here and we'll go on to this a bit more later on so again I'm not going to dwell too much on it here but you'll see where it's come from and all I did with here is just take this back into um, serif draw from serif draw or, or photo paint you can do it on the same I just cut out the letters and then inserted a block behind the back of colour to then shine through so it gives us this effect and I could have any effect on that and that's pretty much uh, that sort of design that's done so the epsilon 5 one um, is developed from the different sketches so if I just go back again just to see the development okay so there's the design sheet there's my development all scanned into one you can see where I've actually put the four in here on that as well but this was done on loads of different sheets so don't throw sheets away don't I always say to, to students don't draw one design or four designs on a different sheet because you can guarantee out of those four designs will be one that look absolutely pants and you'll want to get rid of so don't throw anything away draw them on different sheets that way if you do go wrong you can always photocopy them and take them from there and that leads us to the end of the second development.